me know if this sounds familiar. You were originally taught in Sunday school that there was this big ancient war in heaven where Lucifer convinced a third of the angels of heaven to side with him and then try to overthrow God. And of course, it didn't go very well and he was cast out of heaven along with all the rebellious angels, right? I'm here today to help you understand that much of this belief is actually false or twisted according to what the word of God actually says. And remember, this is my opinion based on my studies, so you guys can think anything that you want. It's important to understand that sometimes scripture contains hundreds of years between only a few verses, more specifically in the book of Revelation. In the very first verse, John makes it clear that what he's saying in Revelation is referencing past, present, and future events. The verse that many people will use referencing the war, the ancient war in heaven, is Revelation 12, 7 that says, Now a war rose in heaven, Michael and his angels fighting against the dragon, and the dragon and his angels fought back. But wait, let's back up a second. Back in Revelation 12, 4, it says, His, Lucifer's tail, swept down a third of the stars of heaven and cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman who was about to give birth, so that when she bore her child, he might devour it. Child is capitalized here. Now, it's agreed among many theologians that this verse is actually talking about Satan's first fall, and then his goal to take out Jesus as soon as he was born. That part's obvious, right? So this verse is clearly referencing the past. The confusion happens when we combine verses four and seven together and assume that they're talking about the same event, which they aren't. The devil did take a third of the angels with him when he was cast out of heaven, but it wasn't a war yet. The war that is mentioned in verse seven has yet to take place and is set to occur three and a half years into the tribulation which is the halfway point, which is also referenced in Daniel chapter nine. This is the part that gets really interesting because most of us weren't taught about the different levels of heaven. And this will all make sense in a second. You have the physical realm where we live, then the spiritual realm, which is the second heaven. And then you have the third heaven where God abides, which is referenced in second Corinthians 12, two through four. We actually know from scripture that the devil falls or transitions four separate times. The second of the falls is where people get confused and this is where the levels of heaven come in. The first fall was from glorified to profane, which is when Lucifer was cast out of the Garden of Eden. The second fall is what we're talking about from Revelation 12, 7. The second fall is when Lucifer no longer has access to heaven. Access is the key word. And yes, he has access to God right now. And we know this because he accuses us of our sin day and night in the throne room. So he gets banished from the Garden of Eden, takes a third of the angels with him. Then halfway through the tribulation period, a war will break out in the spiritual realm and Satan will no longer have access access to the throne room and he will be cast to the earth. You can look at this like Lucy was kicked out of his house because he wasn't respecting his father. This doesn't mean that he won't come back to visit from time to time. He just can't live there. I hope that makes sense. 